Well, Marion wraps up a weekend of Juneteenth celebrations with a three on three tournament. Dozens of folks were at Jones Park this afternoon for music, food and of course basketball. Several teams competed for a grand prize of $300. It's organized by Jen X of Southern Illinois and the Boynton Street Community Center of Marion. Group members say they're enthused by other communities hosting their own celebrations. I'm glad that every community is having a Juneteenth of their own. It's spreading like wildfire. Uh, Marion has their own, like you said, Carbondale. John A even did something yesterday. So it's nice to see uh, the small communities just having their own. So that's great. And I think ours have went great. I know Carbondale has went great. It's been a great event for everybody. This is the third year for Marion's Juneteenth celebrations. They add more events and entertainment, hoping to make it bigger and better each year. has my foot tapping. Gospel singing brings a week of Juneteenth celebrations to a close in Carbondale this afternoon. More than 100 folks came out opening the program singing together the Black National Anthem, Lift Every Voice and Sing. Organizers say ending the week with a gospel program touches on the history of slaves expressing their struggles in song. They sung, they moaned, they did all kinds of things to express how they were feeling at the time. So we're hoping that we will express some of that tonight and sing some and hear some of the old Negro spirituals that will help us to understand more about Juneteenth. McDaniel adds Juneteenth is also a day of service, doing something for someone else. Carbondale's African American Museum has more than 25 years of organizing Juneteenth celebrations in the community.